Hi guys, it's Mark from this again, 16 in France, and we're gonna put a little word on videos about the 1.8 skilled desert buggy tires, but also fits 1.7 skill short cars like the Armour Mojave or the Traxxas UDR. Little difference on the UDR that Traxxas has splinted wheel hubs with a 7mm hole in the front, all of these tires has 10mm holes. So to put these tires on the UDR you need a little washer in the front, that's all. If you want to put the UDR tires on another truck you need to drill it off to 10 millimeters and cut out the spleens or you get spleen wheel hubs. That's your choice, you have to do, but if you bore it up to 10 you have to take care because of the room to put the hex on, it's a little bit tricky. And the Traxxas tires are also, like many times, the high priced. That's really something I not like by Traxxas. Here we have the Team Magic Set Desert Buggy. You also know the Team SO DB8. I not have here the DB8 tires. The DB8 tires are the softest from all. I really like it to, to use it, they are really good on every race surface, but they have a weak point, they are too soft and really fast be cut off. So take care of the tires. 4S is okay for DB8 tires, 6S is tricky. You really need to drill a hole in the surface from the tire to not balloon or explode it. The T-Magic DB tires are a little bit they're also soft, but not so much that the DBA tires. I really love it. It's really fun to drive and not like so much the design from the tires, but uh, really works everywhere. You have not too much rip, uh, even in, um, in, um, in grass surface. We have, I drive it only for us, little bit balloon, so you also need to bore it up in the middle. 6S will be also tricky to drive. Maybe the tire will hold on, but to drive it will be a little bit hot. Then you have the Kyosho Scorpion BXXL tires in wheels, but this is not the original Kyosho. I not find the original Kyosho. It's really, or you get the BXXL, or uh, you have to buy it separately, but by Kyosho it's really hard to find some spar. I hope that Kyosho will do something here in Europe. You really, really not find what you want for Kyosho cars. And if you find it, it's really, really expensive. So, I get that one by AliExpress, by the same dealer here. You have two types of wheels and three types of tires. You have BF Goodrich, like on the UDR. I love that because not too much grip like that one, especially in grass with your short curse or desert buggy. You, in the most of the time, have a high uh, LCG, and so you really um, roll over fast in turning. So it's important to have a high tire on the outside, so you really can sleep away. Also, not too much profile. Do not have too much grip. I also like that one because they are really good in loose ground. Difference between these two wheels is in that one you need for go on the Mojave or put <laughs> spacers to make the car brighter. Sorry, come back again. Or you have to put some little washer in the hex uh, to put the wheel a little bit, uh, little, little bit away because you here uh, heat the knuckles from the car. That one has not this issue because you have 5 mm more outstanding from the wheel, but it's not goes under hood the body, you will hit the body with the side here from the nubs. In any case, on the Mojave I have cut out a little bit more defenders on this to put this one in. And here you not have the little reinforcement, so you not need to cut something out. Here's one where I done it, so you see what you need to put away to fit the front from the Mojave. On the UDR, no issue, I have put it on with any problem. My favorite tires, the Armour D-Boots Fortress. That's really the name they deserve. 
undestroyable tires. I really love it, just not on a grippy surface. Then you will flip off. That's why I take this one. These are FS Racing, rebranded uh, by Conrad Really also these are buggy tires. It's the design from the BF Goodrich from the Traxxas, because this one is not exactly the same. You have different side, you have um, also different knobs here, a little bit, it's slightly the same. I don't know the price from that one, because I'm not check it out. Uh, the DB8, I even find it, so that's why I also not know the, the price. These three or four profile because you also have pedal tires for put on these wheels uh, are about by us by us in Europe uh, about 60 to 65 uh, euros. That are bad luck tires. If you drive normally, it's not an issue, but sometimes you can pop it off. So you can open the wheel, glue the tire in, close the wheel. So never happen again. You can change the tire, but for that price, it's not really uh, an advantage. An advantage to j take just the tires or just the wheels, or it will be cool if you destroy one 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 because you have to take care. The plastic is a little bit soft, so it can happen if you not tighten enough your tires that you will destroy the hex. The T Magic tires has no issue with that. The rim is really hard. Find it's. A little bit too hard, but 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 the tire is softer, and I will try that one. I will, I'm a little bit impressed because I did not expected FS Racing to do such a good tire. FS Racing is a cheap brand, Conrad really is also cheap stuff. The whole truck is cheap. Uh, the combo in the truck is got is really good because it's a 6S uh, Robby. Hobby wing combo, but 6s is too much for the really truck. Um, you see many channels say it's amazing truck, it's beautiful. That that's all wrong. That's all wrong. I talk with users from the truck. 4s drive gently is okay. More than that, you will destroy transmission. Uh, the plastic is weak. It's an FS car. Don't can have a truck for 250, 280 bucks. Who is so good than a truck for 400? Would be cool, but it's not the case. And the worst at that point is also that the first time I see the truck, 280 euros, I think, okay, I will buy one. It's a cheap car, but for that price, it will be okay. And then suddenly the price goes higher and higher and higher and hits the 450 to 480 euros here in the shops. That means the price from the Team Magic set or the Nomad DB8 from S Team SO. These two trucks are tough, are amazing, are really holding time, but not the other one. But the tires really feels like the BF Goodrich from the Traxxas ones. The form looks also like the others. We are. Uh, I drive truggies, I drive buggies, I drive monsters. I'm used to, to feel if the form is, is good or not. And what happens with these tires that we all find in the beginning that the form is a little bit cheaty. We have here really not a big impression from form. We think, oh, that there's some missing form or two, two light forms. But like on the UDR tires, this one has the same, this one has the same, this one has the same. The fact is that uh, the form is light to not have too much weight because we have really, really heavy compound here on the tire. And it's not an issue with the water. Armor has no hole in the rim, there's only the hole in the tire. This one has the hole in the rim, but not in the tire. So I'm gonna test it many times when I drive. It's also uh, Traxxas tell you that, Team Magic tell you that. Put something on the hole in the rim to not allow the water to go in the tire. If it's happened, you have to bore it up so the water can out. By Armor, is no hole in the rim you have only a hole in the tire that means all water can goes in but to go in the water in the tire you have really to sink the car and then uh, how fast it goes in how fast it goes out because of the hole you can also put a little bit glue on the hole but uh, think on that if you make a tire 
who is who has no air escape when it's hot it will be bumpy when it's cold it will be sloppy <laughs> so you have to open sometimes the tire to get fresh air in to bump it up uh, to uh, to pump it out or up or what you want so if you know other brands who make some tires uh, feel free to ask also put the link in when you know where to get at a good price such tires that's something cool I really like one edge kill desert buggy and one seven skill uh, short course um, many people also have uh, buggies but drive on heavy terrain and they want to rise the the ground clearance so that they use bigger tires just take care if you use bigger tires heavier tires on your buggy to put a smaller pinion gear on the motor to not overheat the motor to not have too much forces uh, laying around here and on many cars also you have to use some spacer to have a wider spur to not heat the body with the tire if you have our ID like I said before um, tell it um, what we miss at that point in this size are on-road tires I hope that us SRC will do the road crusher in smaller tire also a little bit smaller for truggy I love the SRC road crusher and off-road crusher but I only have one size so I really hope to see this tire a little bit smaller maybe know, that size but narrower oh I don't mess the word <laughs> also a little bit smaller typical truggy tires because this is a little bit heavy and too bright for some trucks surely I forget something but I don't know what I forgot it <laughs> bye guys